Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 25th, 2021. Well, my goodness, those bulls came out in force yesterday, and they were really inspired after a deal on an infrastructure bill came together, spending another trillion dollars um, into the market with really no idea or plan as to how they're going to pay for that except for more deficit spending and the market loves deficit spending i mean we love it it's just like crack cocaine and we just pushed and pushed and pushed to new highs improving the technicals on many of these charts so how about we settle into our office chairs let's buckle up let's get ready for the friday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone. I truly appreciate you being here today, and I apologize. My voice probably sounds a little bit rough this morning. Doggone allergies this time of year, and so I apologize ahead of time. And um, let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Now, yesterday we had the, a big surge um, in the Dow. Let's take a quick look at a 15 minute chart. Notice we had that big gap yesterday in the morning, um, popped up and then we were really going nowhere after that pop up until we heard the announcement of the um, trillion dollar spend that's going to happen in infrastructure and then zoom up we went some more in the market so very very bullish on the day and we ended up finishing up on the dow just below that 50-day moving average and then after the bell we heard that all the big banks passed their stress tests which you know would make some sense that with money being pumped to them um, almost nonstop for the last year and a half from the FOMC, you would expect them to do pretty well in their stress tests. And they did. All of them passed with flying colors. And that helped to inspire us a little bit more here overnight. Now, of course, we also had the inspiration of Nike. Oh, my goodness. Nike had a blowout earnings report. Um, and look at this thing this morning. So that certainly helped inspire the market as well. So now we're looking at the diamonds potentially gapping once again, gapping up over its 50 day moving average. So um, all the technicals are improving here. Even though we have the shorter term moving averages that have crossed down, we're just ignoring that um, as if it were not there and we are just pushing and, and gapping um, basically every day to move back through in that chart. Now, one of the things we do wanna pay attention to here is although that is extremely bullish getting back above that 50 day moving average, let's just take note that here in the Dow, we still are not out of the woods yet. We still have resistance levels in this chart, and I'm sorry, my tools changed, but we have resistance levels in this chart that we still need to deal with. Um, as we rally back up. So just kind of keep in mind that we still have some challenges here ahead and breaking back above that 50 day moving average is important as long as we can prove to hold it. Pushing up through is one thing, proving to hold it and then coming and bouncing off of that is another. So let's watch carefully here in the Dow. Still, diamonds being the weakest of the indexes. Then if we take a look at our SPY, boy, our SPY um, really inspired, continuing to push higher, new record highs, continuing to be set, and it looks like we're going to set some more this morning um as those bulls continue to push and big tech is a big portion of that push um in the spy so we just continue to push that that nasdaq higher it, it will be interesting um, how the market reacts if we do happen to see some pullback in those uh, big tech stocks but watch that closely we're pushing higher here this morning new record highs where um, all of our technicals are um, completely improved here blue sky above um, bulls bulls are in control here in the spy if we take a look at the qqq same thing is true we broke out on 
some time ago here in the QQQ and they are relentless in pushing into that. NASDAQ just push, push, push. It's all buying all the time and uh, pushing this up. Now, one thing you do have to worry about here in the NASDAQ is that we may be getting a little bit carried away in this push that we may have, we may be reaching a little bit of an extension point where we could see some selling come in at any time. But as of now, there's no clues to that here in the chart. And if you look at our technicals, very, very strong. We just are really separated here from our 50 day moving average. This is a pretty extraordinary rally here. So watch that closely, just in case um, we do have some profit taking that might come in. And I do think it might be difficult for the overall market to continue to rally if the, those big techs actually do set um, sell off so just watch for that possibility but I think if we can clear this um, hurdle this morning on um, inflation there's no reason why we can't um, remain bullish right in through the uh, you know to the weekend so um, bulls are definitely in control here and then if we take a look at IWM IWM still has some challenges above but we've certainly surged dramatically here in IWM we're back above our 50-day moving average we're pressing we broke a resistance level in the chart yesterday with the big gap up move and we're headed back up here to test all-time highs so that possibility that QQQ could continue to find that inspiration and new records coming in the IWM. It's been a while since we've seen that happen, but it looks like that possibility is certainly in the cards now. So bulls in control here as well. Um, always remember though, that when we have resistance levels above, we have to respect that, that possibility, because you know, we can't forget, uh, you know, that we have tried this a few times and we run up there and we reverse and fail. That certainly is still in the cards here. So watch for that possibility as well as we approach those highs. Let's take a look at um, our VIX this morning. Now our VIX broke down yesterday, interestingly. Broke down, we broke down hard even. We came all the way down here, look at this. We were down here at a 14 handle as if there was no fear at all. And then by the end of the day, we climbed right back up above that support, right into that support level. So kind of an interesting reversal there on the day. Um, it would it would kind of go to this um, worry that maybe we are um, reaching an overextension here in the market and maybe complacency is starting to play a role here. But watch that closely. If we stay down here below this area, I don't think there's any particular problem. And I've mentioned before, you know, we break down trends like this and we, we did break it yesterday to the downside. Although we're holding this resistance right in here, I don't see any major fear here in the market. And with the bullishness that we see this morning, I would suspect this is going to be pushing right back down um, today, unless we stumble on that um, inflation number today. So let's watch that closely. But bulls are very, very happy and they just want to party right now. And um, no reason why we can't keep that party going right into the weekend. Let's take a look at our um, T2122. Now our T2122 indicator starting to show a little bit of um, pressure could occur here on the market relatively soon. Notice that we finished the day here. Now what's interesting about that is we set new record tides in the queues and, and, and the SPY yesterday, but notice that although this responded higher, what this is telling us is the majority of the market is not experiencing that bullishness. We have more stocks kind of languishing in a sideways move um, than we have actually going up. And that's creating an interesting circumstance here in T2122 as we're setting new highs. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that means other than, boy, if those big techs start to sell off, we may not have enough energy to keep this thing going. But watch that closely. Now, we're going to get a gap up this morning, it looks like. Um, at least at the moment, it looks like we're going, going to gap up. So I would suspect we will be up in this bearish reversal zone um, this morning. And we could continue to push 
if we can get past that inflation data this morning without much worry. So watch that closely. We do have upside room, that possibility we could continue to extend. And then we also um, have to keep in mind that if we were to stumble on that inflation data, we have a pretty big up, you know, downside um, place here that we could run to. And if the big techs, you know, run out of energy, if we kind of extend them too far, too fast um, and get a pullback there, then we could see, you know, some selling coming into play. I'm not suggesting it's fall off a cliff selling, but there could be a little bit of resting pullback um, after breaking through these levels to prove that those areas as support. And it wouldn't be out of the question if there was a little bit of profit taking heading into the weekend. So let's watch that closely. Let's take a look at our T2101. Boy, I got to tell you, this is kind of perplexing. Um, as we continue to press and push up, we're seeing market breadth on these big buy points. We're seeing that market breadth declined. Um, kind of an interesting situation where we don't really have that serious move of momentum that we would expect to see as we're making new record highs. So it's very, very select stocks continuing to push us up. We'll have to just watch this closely. I honestly don't know what this means um, other than I want to be very watchful and I don't want to become complacent. I want to be staying very, very focused on my trades and making sure that I'm not over trading um, in this circumstance, just in case something snaps here and we shift and move so uh, the other direction. So just watch that closely. Um, interesting circumstance for sure uh, with market breadth just not increasing as we continue to rally. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And I've been mentioning several times here this morning that we have some inflation data that we have to get past this morning. That's gonna be the personal incomes and outlays. We'll wanna watch that pretty carefully today. If that were to come in um, really hot, we could um, see a market reaction to that. But I gotta tell you right now, um, we seem to have the capacity to ignore an awful lot. And um, so watch that closely. Now, consensus is saying um, a minus 2.6. If that's where that comes in, if, if these numbers come in um, flat or even lower, then we'll probably have no problem. And I would look um, in that circumstance for those bulls to just keep pushing to the upside um, if that were to occur. A lot of excitement here in the market. And we've got consumer sentiment here today. I um, doubt we get a whole lot of movement based on that today. Keep in mind, we have uh, three Fed speakers here today uh, to pay attention to. I don't know that we'll learn anything new from there, but we'll want to think about that. Now, also think about um, just how far we have rallied this week. Let's go to um, the DJI. And the reason I'm, I'm bringing this up is because we want to think about these kind of things as we plan ourselves into the weekend. Um, let's just realize that this week, and obviously we still have another day that we're extending um, as of now, and we're gapping up this morning here. It doesn't show in the Dow like it or show, does in the diamonds. But notice that um, we will be up nearly a thousand points today here in the Dow. Um, a thousand points up in, in, in a week. So we are extending pretty hard here um, overall. And we'll want to kind of keep in mind that as we head into the weekend, it might be a good idea to be thinking about taking some profits um, rather than chasing into things long this morning. So think about that carefully and how you might want to uh, pull some money out of the market uh, just in case we pull back next week. Just a thought. Let's take a look at some, uh, oh, we better take a look at our earnings calendar. Our earnings calendar today, we have 16 companies listed on the earnings calendar, but there are only six verified reports. So let's take a look at those. And um, we're not gonna take a look at all six because I don't think all of those are even notable. Uh, KMX will definitely be a notable today. You might wanna keep an eye on that. And you can see it's gapping up here this morning. Got a good report here on KMX. A lot of bullishness there pushing up. So nice chart there. Uh, JKS, 
JKS will also be reporting. Looks like not so much love here just yet. I'm not sure if it's reported, um, but we have a bullish pattern um, in here in the fact that we've rallied up nicely. Notice right in here holding above our 50 day moving average. Yet at the same time, we have a pattern that's forming that could be a bit on the bearish side. Notice that little head and shoulders pattern formed right there um, on that chart. So this report could be kind of interesting uh, today. And then last but not least, PA, um, we'll wanna watch this one today um, as they report. Um, could be an interesting um, chart to pay attention to. Let's take a look. Um, at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you find these videos to be useful and helpful, if you could please click those thumbs up buttons, leave those comments. It's that engagement with the, with the videos that really matters. Um, and um, I just want to say thanks to everyone who does do that. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate it. And um, I cannot thank um, everyone enough for your kind support of this kind of content where we try to remove all the hype and prediction and just really look at the technicals, technicals of the chart. And I just want to say thank you for supporting that kind of content. Kind of surprises me that there are that many people that are interested in that kind of content. And I am truly humbled by it. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I would tell you the first thing you need to do is do your own due diligence, trying to ter determine whether a chart is right for you. Try to decide if the risk of that trade is right for you before you ever consider a trade. Never, ever blindly follow anyone's trade ideas. So first off, I'm going to show you um, a bearish chart and um, I do have a little bit of a bias on this because I actually took this chart short. This is Oracle. Oracle is showing a potential failure pattern. Notice a failure pattern right there at the 50 day moving average where we broke down, rallied back. We're struggling with that 50 and that possible failure. So I did take Oracle short, have a little bit of bias on that, but I think there is possibly some opportunity that Oracle could go ahead and stretch on down. So I'm starting to pick up every now and then just a little bit of a short. Um, we certainly don't have the market flipping to the short side, but there are just a few hints out there of some problems. Can't say that this trade is gonna work out, but something to watch, something to keep an eye on. Um, you might also want to take a look on the bullish side. Take a look at Kroger. Now Kroger um, has been resting here. Um, we popped up big, broke through some resistance and then just resting and pulling back in this area. Now I got into this trade early and it's admittedly early. Um, I think there still is a chance that um, Kroger could continue to rest or pull back into this trend before this actually gets going. But I think Kroger has one of those benefits of rising prices um, um, being a potential benefit um, here in uh, Kroger. We're obviously going to need groceries even in a high inflationary environment. So keep a close eye on that. Um, breaking out through these levels looks pretty good to me. I did go long this, so I do have a bias. Um, consider that carefully if you're interested in a trade like that. Take a look at TAN. You guys know that I have been mentioning TAN over and over and over, and that continues to work here. TAN moving on up. Any rest or pullback in this chart would set up another opportunity to the upside. I don't know that I would chase it here, but I would certainly keep this on the list for that next opportunity in the trade. TAN looking very, very good. I continue to mention space and look at space. Um, rocket shot here going off, no pun intended, but we're, we're doing really, really good here in space after this alert popping through. We rested a couple days and this morning looks like we're wanting to go um, higher here in space. So keep a close eye on that, looking very, very good um, at the moment. Be careful chasing it, but I still like that chart. I think it, it's showing quite a little bit of strength. Now we got that infrastructure bill 
past. So I think it would be a good idea um, to maybe take a look. It, they're not ready for prime time yet, but it may be time to take a look at um, copper and steel stocks again. Now they got hammered down hard with China's news that they were going to release reserves. Um, let's keep a close eye on these. Notice we're rallying back up. We have a tremendous shortage um, right now in copper. And if um, we're going to be building um, a whole bunch of in infrastructure, then copper is going to be one of those necessary metals that we're going to need. So watch this closely. Notice we broke that downtrend here. If we can rest, pull back, hold in this area, there may be some opportunities to pick up some um, some copper here. SCCO, you might look at um, FCX, um, copper miner pushing back up toward that downtrend. So again, they're not quite ready for prime time, but with that passage of, or when that bill passage uh, goes through um, Congress, there may be some opportunities here in copper and potentially steel. Um, uh, STLD perked back up here. As you can see, we broke back above this support level. So um, the way I view things is when a stock breaks support, it must recover and then prove to hold. And it looks like we've kind of proved that. We broke through, kind of held right in here, and now we're pushing on up. So keep an eye on STLD. You could also keep an eye on um, US Steel X. Now X has got a little bit more work to do. Um, pushing up here, a uh, little rest or pull back would hold. Um, could be an opportunity. M MT might be one to take a look at um, rallying back up strongly here um, since um, since that sell-off and news that China released those reserves. So watch that closely. Um, CLF might be another one to keep an eye on trying to recover some support in the chart. So if these continue to push up, if we can find those support levels in here, watch for trades like that. I think you should be keeping an eye on that NVIDIA. This thing just continues to run like crazy. And we're going to get a, a split in this. And right now, NVIDIA continues to be really, really strong. Once again, I don't think I'd want to chase this move to the upside, but watch for the next pullback in that trade. And I'm going to say the same about Microsoft. Um, you guys know I've been talking about that as a potential long from here, and that's looked really good. We're pressing through this resistance level um, in the chart. So now any consolidation, any rest or pullback would set up more opportunity here in Microsoft. Now a $2 trillion market cap company. Um, uh, I'm going to say the same for Apple. Um, app, whoops. Apple is going to... <laughs> I can't type this morning. <laughs> um, oh, I'm typing it wrong. Um, uh, dyslexic fingers this morning. Um, Apple um, pushing up here toward this resistance level in the chart. And notice that we're kind of extended in this move. Any rest or consolidation over to here, as long as we hold the kind of a tight consolidation, there'd be that opportunity then we could pop out and maybe challenge um, these highs in here. But until, until we kind of get a little more rest, I'd be a little bit careful here of Apple as well. So um, I've got to I've got to continue to mention NKLA that continues to set up looking good. Um, NIO um, continues to set up continues to look pretty good in here. Keep a close eye on that. You might even want to take a look at some cannabis. Cannabis started to surge back. I don't think cannabis is quite ready for prime time yet, but starting to surge back um, in that chart. And last but not least. Um, plug power continues to look good. Um, I like the fact that we surge back up and now we're resting here. I'd be watching for that next opportunity to come in that chart where we can maybe extend this trend. So watch for that next buy signal uh, to pop up in here on plug power. So there's a few charts for you to pay attention to, a few things for you to watch. I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you all a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Everyone take care, and thank you so much for your kind support of the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Take care. We'll see you right back here, bright and early. Good morning.